Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install Newspack theme on your WordPress installation. So basically, Newspack is a platform from WordPress team, and they also have open source theme that is based on this particular look, right? So if you want to have this on your own WordPress setup, what you can do is go to GitHub and check for automatic account so automatic is the company behind wordpress they have news Mac theme right they also have one plugin so you can install plugin and theme to have news Mac on your wordpress so what i have done is i went to this plugin section added the plugin also in appearance themes i have added the theme and once you add this theme from github you can select it and next thing is you will have this particular section on your wordpress setup it will look something like this so you can start a new site you don't have any content right now click this option and choose to install demo content but i am going to uncheck this because this website is going to be my work website later so get started it will install required plugins now and it will return back to this page after that okay. if you have any spare installation you can test out with demo account it should look something like this if you do right so the font themes if you want to check the themes you can go to support section and see the options in newsback themes here you will see this is the default theme then you have newsback yourself Catherine Nelson and Sasha there is also a new theme called Scott right so we'll get back to our setup here you see I have my site name tagline I can set the country currency this is for site profile then social media accounts click continue can always return to this particular page here you can see reader revenue encourage site visitors to contribute to your publishing through donation enable this and you will have to enter stripe details if you don't have that you can uncheck this then you have newsletter option so you can choose service provider right so if you don't have this uh, for now you can simply uncheck this option then comes design in next step now here you see you have multiple options to choose from so what I'm going to do here is I'll be choosing one of the layout so the default one looks good rest of the others are a bit cluttered right so I'll be skipping that then you have colors right primary secondary also typography you can go with default or you can choose from these google fonts right then you have headers you have logo to add to also you can add your own custom copyright information right and then you can click finish now whenever you want to configure you can configure through this particular dashboard option then you have home page update you can visit your site and then you also have documentation to check through so you can do that currently as you can see I have a website that looks something like this I'll have to edit a bit right in order to get the news pack look like this right so currently I don't have this look because I lack content so with demo content usually you get that there is this amp option which will show you if it's ready for your mobile layout or not right so this is pretty much the setup of your news pack theme on wordpress